A tubal ligation procedure is a permanent method of birth control where the surgeon cuts or seals off the fallopian tubes in order to prevent pregnancy. A woman's reproductive system includes the vagina, the canal where sperm are deposited and babies emerge during delivery, uterus, the pear-shaped organ where a fertilized egg grows into a baby, fallopian tubes, two ducts that transport eggs from the ovaries to the uterus and where sperm usually fertilize eggs, and ovaries, two glands that produce and release eggs. During sexual intercourse, sperm from the male are introduced into the vagina. They travel through a channel called the cervix and into the uterus. The sperm then move into the fallopian tubes, where they can meet and fertilize eggs that have been released from the ovaries. Pregnancy begins with a fertilized egg. If you don't want to become pregnant, you may choose a birth control method from one of several categories. Abstinence, contraception, or sterilization to permanently avoid pregnancy by having a medical procedure. Tubal ligation is one form of sterilization. Before the procedure begins, an intravenous line will be started and you will be offered medication to help you relax. Local anesthesia will be applied to numb the area of the operation, and you will remain awake for its duration. Um, that's not, that's not accurate. Um, okay, so what they've just said is that if you're going to have a tubal ligation, they'll put an IV line in and give you medication to help you relax and then numb you up, but you'll be awake. That's not how we do tubal ligation. Uh, we do it via laparoscopic surgery, which is done under a general anesthetic for the most part. The exception to that would be if you have it done immediately after giving birth, where you have what we call a postpartum tubal ligation, in which case it is often done under a spinal anesthetic, like you would have for a cesarean delivery. And the reason for that is because it's safer than doing a general anesthetic or intubation when you have recently just given birth because pregnancy increases your risk of aspiration while under a general anesthetic. Though if, you know, it's not so high that you can't do it under a general anesthetic if there's a reason that you need to. So we do sometimes do them under the risk, uh, I mean, under a general anesthetic as well. Um, Hang on a second. Uh, if there's a mod here, just ban them. I don't know if anyone is here that's a mod, though. Um, so, yeah, that's not correct, but there you go. In some cases, general or spinal anesthesia may be used instead. If you are having a laparoscopic tubal ligation... What did it say? Okay, hang on a second. It was saying... What was it describing? I'm so confused. Before the procedure begins, an intravenous line... Before the procedure... One form of sterilization. Before the procedure begins, an intravenous line will be started. Yeah, and you will I be just, offered medical so or spinal, gonna... spinal anesthesia oh, may general be used or instead. Okay. I don't, I don't know what kind you would do under a if local... If you are having a laparoscopic tubal ligation, your doctor will begin by making a tiny incision near your belly button and another just above your pubic bone. Your doctor will then inject carbon dioxide, a harmless gas, through a tube inserted into the upper incision. The carbon dioxide in- I'm Not sure I'd call it harmless. <laughs> it can cause problems, but it is the safest thing to use for laparoscopic surgery. Flates your abdominal cavity, allowing your doctor to clearly see and work around your internal organs. Next, your doctor will introduce a lighted instrument called a laparoscope through one of the incisions. The laparoscope projects images of the structures inside your abdomen onto a monitor. Sorry, I have a gummy worm in my mouth, but this is looking down into the pelvis through a camera inserted around the navel. And this is a animation of what it would look like when you do that uh, in surgery. Um, it's fairly accurate, not perfect. Through the other incision, your doctor will pass surgical instruments to grasp your fallopian tubes and close them off using the cutting and tying, blocking. That's the one I was calling Parkland method. Um, 
when someone said you tie them up like bunny ears. So yeah, you kind of in some situations do. Or sealing technique. At the end of the procedure, your doctor will allow the carbon dioxide to escape and close the incisions with dissolving stitches. If you are having a mini laparotomy tubal ligation, your doctor will make a small incision just above your pubic bone. He or she will grasp the fallopian tubes with forceps. This is how it would be done immediately after, like if you had a baby yesterday or this morning, and then we do this in, later that day. This is very hard to do if you were trying to do it when you're not postpartum because the uterus is very small and the tubes are hard to reach in this manner. So we usually prefer to do it laparoscopically outside of the immediate postpartum period. And close them off using one of several techniques. At the end of the procedure, the incision will be closed with stitches. This method is often used just after childbirth. If you're having a laparotomy, your doctor will make a two to five inch incision in your lower abdomen. He I don't know why you would have a laparotomy to do this uh, procedure, but that's interesting. He or she will locate the fallopian tubes and close them off using one of several techniques. At the end of the procedure, the incision will be closed with stitches. Immediately afterward, you will be taken to the recovery area. If you have a laparoscopic tubal ligation, you will likely go home the same day. If you have a laparotomy or a mini laparotomy after childbirth, your hospital stay may be extended slightly. Very good, very interesting. Okay, I hope you'll learn something today. Again, I don't wanna have a super long stream today. It's already dinner time here. I wanna go see my kids and I hope that you all had a wonderful day.